Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a review on the Dino Cube by Smaz and MF8. Now Smaz is the actual designer of the cube and uh, he's um, made quite a few cubes including the Dino Cylinder which um, is basically this puzzle which is cut as a cylinder. So let's get into the review. First off, I have bought this cube from the Hong Kong Now store for about $18 and uh, it's great um, free shipping or I got registered shipping which is only two dollars but it came in in a little under a week to Western Canada where I live so um, if you live in Western Canada and you'd like to buy some puzzles uh, don't hesitate to buy from the Hong Kong Nest store um, the sticker quality is very good it has very bright shades and um, they don't really chip very easily and they fit the pieces really nicely now let's get into the turning. The turning is out of the box. It's a little bit stiff, but you just need to lubricate it. And uh, after lubricating, it is extremely smooth. And uh, it is a little bit stiff still, though. As for corner cutting, you don't really need to corner cut on this puzzle, but um, it does a little bit because it does have screws and springs. But, um, you know, you're not really gonna go like just not really kind of puzzle where you'd have a fast base turning so the corner cutting is there but it's not necessarily needed one problem I have with this cube is that the edges are kind of sharp so they kind of dig into your hand if you accidentally scrape them and also like I have mentioned the cube is a little bit stiff but um since it's fairly weird to finger trick you're not gonna really be needing to have it turn super fast. The size of this puzzle is um, just about the same size as a Rubik's brand. This is a Rubik's icon with some new stickers. So almost exactly the same size. Now let's get into the mechanism. Now I don't believe there's many videos on mechanism so to disassemble this cube you just want to turn it um, uh, halfway and just pull this piece out and uh, as you can see the pieces like most uh, MFA or Dyan products, they split in half. So you can create your own color scheme or uh, you know, do whatever you want to do with uh, the uh, splittable pieces. Now this puzzle's mechanism is quite similar to the Dyan 4x4, how there's little shells here and then the center pieces are held in by little stems and uh, spin around and as you can see piece just pops in and uh, just turns around that center piece like this it's a very good mechanism and uh, I just think it's an interesting mechanism in my opinion and uh, I haven't gotten a single pop yet so it seems to be working as for the challenge to this puzzle there's really not much of a challenge to it, um, it there's no real algorithms you need to learn for this puzzle so if you're just starting out on collecting I really recommend this puzzle you know it turns fairly smoothly not too expensive and uh, it's not super difficult but it is a nice change from your standard 3x3 cube now I'll just scramble this up and give you a quick solve to see the lockups um, it does lock up a little bit just because of the turns how it turns around the corners and most people just aren't really used to that kind of style of turning so, um, yeah, here's a little scramble. Okay, I think that's enough scrambling for now. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's get into it. You can see the puzzle is a little bit stiff to turn in times, but it isn't that much of a deal. Big deal, seeing as it's not really a puzzle you'd speed solve too often. As you can see here, I don't remember how I do this. And there we are, the puzzle is solved. Overall, I think this puzzle is a very good puzzle for somebody just getting into collecting 
or somebody that's just looking for a nice puzzle to solve. It's a very nice change from just solving a normal cubic puzzle. Um, it is fairly easy to do, though, but uh, it's still, it's kind of nice, you know, it's not very hard, but um, it's a little different, you know, kind of mix it up, you know. And also, this puzzle does turn very smoothly. It really just works really well. It's a very sturdy feeling, I think. And um, it just works pretty well. So if you'd like to purchase this puzzle, I'll put a link in the description to the Hong Kong Now store. Um, you can get it for $18 plus uh, $2 registered airmail, or you can choose free shipping as well. Um, and if you live in Western Canada, it uh, comes in about a week, a little under a week, which is very fast for any international shipping. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you like the review, please uh, give it a little thumbs up. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe, please do so. I'll be coming out with a little, couple more reviews soon. And uh, enjoy your New Year's, and uh, have a good day.